guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. We are all about the food on our channel. We do recipes, grocery hauls, taste tests, and what's for dinner. And our what's for dinner videos come out on Tuesdays. So for dinner tonight, we are having some fried cabbage and we are also having some pot roast that I made in the crock pot. Normally I make Mississippi pot roast, but today I just felt like making a traditional pot roast. And how I do that is cut up one onion, put it on the bottom of the crock pot, and then I add my chuck roast, and I had about a two and a half pound chuck roast, and then I sprinkle it with um, Lipton onion soup mix, the dry kind. So I sprinkle it with that, and then I top it with cream of mushroom soup, and then I just cook it on low for about eight hours. And so that's what you see there. I like to have mine with rice. Howard prefers mashed potatoes. And um, this is some cornbread. Howard loves this cornbread. I've never had it before, but he convinced me to get it at the store. Famous Dave's cornbread mix. And there's a restaurant that he likes. And um, so this is their cornbread, so I decided to give it a try. And like I said, Howard likes mashed potatoes, so we're having the same thing, except he is having his pot roast over mashed potatoes. And for the mashed potatoes, this is what I used right here, and he likes them. So um, anyway, this is what we are having for dinner. This is Howard's plate, and this is my plate, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so let me show you what we're having for dinner tonight. As you know, I am always on a quest to try to use up what we have in the freezer. And this is a freezer meal. So we had a few waffle fries from Aldi. And so I heated these up in the oven along with some Aldi chicken fries. These are the spicy variety and this is Howard's plate and he is going to be smothering it with ketchup, I'm sure. I don't have the box for the chicken fries because there were just a few in there so I got rid of the box a while ago. And for my dinner tonight, I am having spicy chicken nuggets and they came in this little box right here. It says they're microwavable, but you guys know I always make everything in the oven. So I'm having these from Tyson, I really like these. And then um, we had some leftover truffle mac and cheese from Aldi. Of course, I threw the box away. These, this is leftover macaroni, so I don't have the box anymore, but it was truffle mac and cheese and we just thought it was okay. So I'm finishing off that. And then I always have chicken nuggets with barbecue sauce and um, this is something that I had in my condiment drawer. Uh, Rudy's is a local barbecue place around here and they have the best barbecue sauce. So I'm gonna be dipping my um, chicken nuggets in that. So we got rid of this box from my freezer and the waffle fries, got rid of that. And then we got rid of the chicken fries. So I'm just trying to work my way through the freezer. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having garlic shrimp. And we have actually had this on another What's For Dinner video. And the marinade comes in a bottle. It looks like this. We got this from Hawaii. Um, and it's really, really good. So that we're using up the last of it. So we used half the bottle one time and the other half today. So what you do is you um, marinate the shrimp in that garlic sauce and then you um, saute it in the garlic sauce, which has a bunch of garlic and oil. And then all I did was cook up some linguine and I added it to the skillet. And there it is, it is so good, it has so much flavor. So we're having that. And then we are also having some five cheese garlic toast. And this is the kind that I like, this Pepperidge Farm, it's really good. And then this is the linguine um, that we use. So I'm actually happy because i um, using up some stuff from the fridge and from the pantry. So finished off this box today, finished off the marinade today, and then finished off this Texas toast today. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I had a taste for a pot pie. And so um, you guys know how much I hate peas and carrots, and so the only pot pies 
that I will eat are these from Marie Callender. So this is Howard's. He's at, he actually does not have an aversion to peas and carrots, but I got him this one anyway because he loves corn. This is chicken corn chowder. And here's a picture of the box. And here it is hot out of the oven. He poked a hole in it so that you guys could see. And um, this is actually a pretty large size um, pot pie, you can't tell. But um, half of the pie is one serving. So this is his. And this is mine right here. And I got the um, creamy mushroom um, pot pie. And there it is. It has broccoli in there and carrots, which I will take out. Um, but this is my pot pie. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, we are trying out something new. And it is a Southeastern Asian restaurant. And Howard is having Vietnamese real pork bowl. There his is. And as you can see, it has a lot of toppings. It looks really good. And there's an egg roll right there that came with his. And I got a build your own bowl. And I have a ton of stuff in there. I've got steak. I've got chicken, vegetables. And we both have some sauces here and then we also have some egg rolls so this is what we're having for tonight see you next time